Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my podcast. I'm Em, I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to be talking about All American Homecoming Season 2, Episode 2. This episode was called No Love. And before I begin, I want to apologize for being inactive with Homecoming in those episodes. I'm working on it. Now that I watched this episode, I'm even more motivated to keep going and I'm determined to catch up so I can do it weekly with All American. So I'm gonna get there pretty soon. I think at least by next week, or yeah, next week, I should be caught up by the time I think episode six comes out or around that time I should be caught up. Hopefully, I'm going to try to be caught up by then. I'll let you guys know. But when I do catch up, I will be doing these weekly with All-American when they are. But yeah, so I just want to say that, and I'm just going to start right now talking about the episode because there's quite a bit I want to talk about. I liked this episode, I think, more than the other one. Last episode was good. I will say that. I really did enjoy it, but I think... This one I just liked a lot more. It was there was more drama. It was like a little more interesting to me personally, but that might be just my opinion. I don't know. I've been hearing like mixed reviews about this season on Twitter from all American fans because I follow quite a few, and they all have like mixed reviews on this season. So I don't know what's gonna happen and how I'm gonna like the rest of the episodes I need to watch. But so far, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. Like, I do... I did enjoy it. And I have been enjoying the first two episodes so far. Like, this season's pretty good. I do like it a lot. But I don't know. I'm a bit worried about moving forward just from what I've heard. And people aren't that happy with it. But then they're also not that happy with all Americans. So it might just be something with that. I'm not sure. I don't keep up with homecoming as much as I do all American especially right now because I'm behind so I don't know much about anything I haven't watched the promo for episode three yet even though I usually do especially if I watch it live I do for sure but because I didn't I just forgot to watch it and so I don't know I just have no idea what's coming and what's gonna happen besides one thing which I'll bring up later that I did hear a spoiler because everything I know right now of things coming up were said on Twitter from spoilers not that I looked it up or anything I just heard about it from people tweeting about it but that's pretty much it but yeah sorry about all that wanted to say that so now I'm going to start talking about the episode of course with the first scene we saw Keisha and Simone talking and I think it was home it wasn't homecoming I don't think so but a ton of people were there new people that we've never seen before. What the fuck am I saying? I don't even know. But yeah, so we saw Simone and Keisha talking and everything, and Keisha told Simone that she was going to switch majors, which I think I knew about, but I'm not sure if it was actually brought up. I completely forgot half the things that happened in season one. Like, I remember some things, but then some things just, I slipped my mind, completely forgot. And so I don't know if it was brought up that she was actually going to change majors and switch to dance but I think I knew that was gonna happen like I had a strong feeling even though I don't remember if they ever brought it up just because I know she didn't want she always wanted to dance I'm pretty sure or she was only doing I don't remember her other major but she was only doing it because of her dad and so I'm really happy for her that she's doing dance and like switching to that especially because I used to dance I don't of course don't anymore because I said used to I danced for eight years when I was younger and I really did like it when I did it but I've just grown out of it and I don't plan on ever doing it again maybe like something here and there but I'm not gonna start like doing classes every single week again just because I like fell out of joy like I don't like it as much as I used to I think it was just because I was young and it was just really exciting at the time but now I don't but because I used to dance and that dance will always be in my heart and hold a special place in my heart I love seeing shows or like seeing dancing in shows and so I'm so happy they're gonna show more of that or I I think they will I really hope they will I don't know if they're going to but I really hope they do because I just love seeing that in shows for some reason if there's any type of dance involved in some kind of shows 
or in shows, I will enjoy it because I just enjoy watching it so much. And so I really hope they show show more of that just because I would like, I love that. And I want to see like them more in classes and like some new things because we've seen baseball, of course, we've seen tennis and we've seen some classes, but we haven't seen like a lot of what Keisha is doing and then also with Cam with music. And now that they're doing that, I think we're going to see more of like her in dance class, which I'm really looking forward to if they do do that. And then also with Cam and music, we might see some music classes, which I'm really excited for as well. I'm just really happy Keisha like switched to majors to do what she's passionate about. And I'm like, I'm so happy for her and I'm so happy she got in too because when the teacher took her name off the tryout she I like I felt so bad for her because it's just so messed up I get like the teacher might know the person and seen the person dance but that doesn't give her a right to well, and maybe it does I don't know but I think it was so messed up that she gave them Keisha's tryout spot because she's never seen Keisha dance and she doesn't think she's like passionate about it and maybe she knows what her other major was it that just upset me so much and I'm so glad she got the chance and proved to her it's just because we know Keisha's so passionate about it and I'm I was so happy that she was finally doing it and when I thought there was a chance that she wasn't going to be able to it upset me so much and just seeing people like have to go through that with like college and getting their places taken away and everything in shows it really upsets me because it probably happens in real life as well and I don't just haven't heard much about it and that just is so upsetting to me so that's why I'm so happy that she went to her to the teacher proved her wrong and got a spot and I'm so happy we got to see her try out too and see the dance and see her get like emotional because she got so emotional when she was standing up for herself and trying to get trying to be able to audition and then she was crying when she was dancing as well and it just showed so much emotion and I always like emotional dances like those are my favorite to watch not to do because they're shit they're really hard but I loved watching I always love watching those and so seeing that side and seeing her get emotional over it just proved how passionate she was about it and the fact that she was self-taught is insane to me because of course the teacher even said she had some like things she needs to work on but the fact that she was self-taught like intrigued her and so that's she got in but that's insane how she got in being self-taught like if I was self-taught I would be shit like I I was trained for a bit to and that's how I know how to do some things I don't know how to do it anymore but that's I was trained by like someone professionally and I'm not I was never as good as her and I probably I will never be because I stopped but it's insane to me that people who are self-taught dancers are really good. Or, like, yeah, they're really good, but they're that good. I don't really know that many people who are self-taught that I've seen dance. And I just haven't seen that, probably because I don't keep up with it. But the fact that they were saying that was insane to me. So, I'm really excited. That storyline's really intriguing to me just because of the dance aspect. And I loved... I love Keisha so, so much. So I'm really happy to see like that situation and just seeing her dance more and just seeing her happy. And then, of course, the classes, which I'm really excited for. And then also with switching majors, with we have Cam, who switched to music, which I'm really happy about as well because, of course, I, I absolutely adore music. I think everyone probably does. But... It's just, like, such a big part of my life, and it always has been. Like, I always sang when I was, like, younger as well. So seeing that and seeing him do it, it makes me so happy, especially because in All-American, he was just, he was kind of a bitch, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember much. I completely forgot he was in All-American when he showed up in Homecoming because I forgot who he was, and I saw everyone on Twitter, like, oh, my gosh, it's Cam, and, like, talking about that. I'm like, who the fuck is Cam? But... I remember now I've seen scenes and I know I remember who he is but seeing him passionate about something other than sports and especially being music just makes me happy to see his development and his growth throughout the seasons of All-American because I'm pretty sure he used to be a bitch I think maybe I'm pretty sure he was a bitch to Spencer I'll figure that out but I'm happy we're seeing that side of him and seeing him go into music and I hope we get to see, like, him in classes and more. Like, I would like to hear him sing more just because I love 
his voice, and I think he's he's really talented, so I would, like, love to see his voice. But then, of course, with Cam, we gotta talk about the... What's it called? Oh my gosh, why am I blinking? Like, the payment thing? I don't... I complete... Transaction. That his grant, that came in late or something. I get that you have to pay your things on time, but I wish they can't... They gave you a warning and told you, like a few days before like the deadline was coming up that your transaction or grant or what like your payment didn't come through I wish they did that just because that would make life so much easier for so many people who maybe something's wrong with the system and it's taking a bit longer or people are having issues getting it through I wish they did that so that's why I'm really happy Amara stood up for Cam and like changed it to have like longer I'm pretty sure that's what she, she did something to change I don't remember exactly what it was but I know she changed it and to make it easier and to for people to have a little more time which I'm happy because it's stressed me out so much when he got dropped from all of his classes like I've heard of that before and I know people that that happened to with them paying later their payment not coming in on time I've heard about that from people but still, it was just so upsetting to see that because it just, he was so excited about, like, doing music now instead of football. And he, or I think he was. He seemed pretty excited about doing music, like, and taking classes for it. And I'm pretty sure that's his new major. Or, no, not major. I don't know. But he's doing that instead of football, I'm pretty sure. And he was really, he seemed really excited about it. And, like, you could tell his face dropped when they said the grant hadn't come in. Like, nothing's there yet. And... I'm just so happy that Amara ch- Amara changed it so that he had time and he has he like can get the grant in and his payments and everything and he can take his classes and not have to not be dropped and like, thankfully he's like not gonna have nothing to do or I don't know if that if I worded that right and that made any sense but he can go to his classes he can like pursue what he wants to pursue now and he doesn't have any issues with it so I'm like really happy about that. But the one thing that doesn't make any sense to me with Cam and Amara as well is that she, like, asked him to be her assistant. Okay, like, okay, it kind of makes sense. He, like, stood his ground and, like, stood up to that person and called her out and stuff. But he is, I'm pretty sure he's a freshman. I think he's a freshman, maybe a sophomore, but I'm pretty sure he was in the same grade as Spencer. So I think he's a freshman. But I don't get why they she asked a student to be her assistant. I, I was assuming she was going to go for someone, for, first of all, an adult. Like, I think he is an adult. But, like, someone who's graduated and maybe has a degree who knows what they're going to be doing. I just, that kind of threw me off so much because I don't know if that's the smartest decision. Like, I get it and I want, like, Cam to do more things. And that will probably help him with like his learning or whatever I think I think she said that or it's gonna like help him with something with his like grades and school and extra activities or I think I might be completely wrong but I don't know why she asked him just because he is a student still and he's not an adult and he has classes to work on so I think that might be like sort of an issue but that might just be me I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to see in, the, like, the next few episodes, see how that works out. I'm just kind of intrigued to see how that works out because I was so confused and I was so thrown off when she asked him because I was expecting her to ask or, like, interview some people, like, adults who have a degree in helping or not, not a degree in helping. That didn't come out right. Like, a degree so they're able to do this. I don't know what degree you need to be an assistant for that. If you do, please let me know. I'm not 100% sure. But I think you need some t- sort of a grief for like, some kind of teaching or business or something, I think, to be- do that. But I might completely wrong. Please comment if I'm wrong. Like, I would genuinely like to know if what it is you need to be an assistant for, like, the principal of the school. I don't know. I'm I'm so confused. I, like, honestly don't know, like, what degree you need for that. But I think you do need a degree to do that but I might be wrong please let me please 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 let me know if I'm wrong I would like to know and correct myself on that and to know what's going on with everything but the next thing I want to talk about with this episode is of course 
Simone and that girl, Tootie. Well, first of all, I really hope that's a nickname. Like, I don't want to say that because I don't want to be mean or anything. But I really hope that is a nickname and not that parents named her that. I really hope. If it is, I feel, like, awful for saying that and I probably should. But that's just my opinion because I would cry if my mom named me that. I might... <laughs> Maybe I, I don't mean to sound mean. I just want to say that. I really don't. Like, I don't want to say anything mean on here. I just want to say that. I hope that it's a nickname and not the parents named her that. Hopefully. That sounds so mean and I feel awful now. But, okay. I'm just going to move on from that. But with Simone and Tootie, first of all, she seems like such a fucking bitch. That girl is a bitch. I'm sorry. I think everyone will agree with me on that or most people. And here's the thing. I do like bitchy characters usually. Like, I love Thea. But Thea also is nice at times. Like, she has her moments. And she is my favorite character, but she has her moments. Like, she's not just a bitch. She's like a mean girl and kind of a bitch, but also nice at the same time. But Tootie isn't. She's just a cold, full-out bitch. Like, the way that she's kind of turned everyone on her to Simone to like think that she hurt Thea and caused her injury so like everyone's like turned on her and everyone kind of hates her anything everything I cannot talk it just pisses me off I hate when people do that just because like what's the point you have other ways to sabotage a person like I don't think you should sabotage a person especially in real life please do not do that but you just shouldn't in general the fact that she's like trying to get everyone to turn on her by lying is just shit and I hate her it's just the whole thing with tennis right now and the fact that she thinks she's she is yeah she's the number one girl now that the is gone but that girl is getting her t- place taken when the comes back she's out like she thinks she's all of that but she's really not when the comes back that bitch is out and I really hope it is soon I need my girl back back in the game getting ready to go even though I understand nothing about tennis I'm really excited to, for Thea to come back and kill everyone but just with that she's just turned everyone on her and makes me mad because I love Simone so much and I want her to be happy and I want her to have good friends and of course she does but I want her to be friends with the tennis team and kind of bond with them and of course that's obviously not gonna happen right now especially now that they think Simone hurt that other girl I don't know what her name is something tells me it's Jade but I'm probably completely wrong and I I don't know why that's coming to me I'm trying to figure out what the name is I'm trying to think about it I don't know what it is I'm trying to think I don't know what it is what is it oh it is Jade okay I looked it up sorry about that okay it is Jade um when she hurt Jade or she everyone thinks she hurt Jade now because She kept missing. She won the match, and she was supposed to hit a person with the tennis ball, which is so fucking stupid. Like, who would do that? You're bound to get hurt if that happens. So, like, that's why I don't understand what the thought process of that was. I think they thought that Simone was going to lose, and they were going to hit her. Of course, that did not happen. And they saw the reason why it's a shit game now. But when Simone won, she got to hit her with the ball and she kept missing of course and so that girl was being like cocky and I mean I would get pissed too if I was Simone and then she you know actually swung really hard and hit her in the shoulder and I mean she deserved that I don't want to say that but because it's a show I will say that that she deserved it I mean if it was in real life I would 100% not say that but it was in a show so I'm gonna say that she deserved it 100% for being a bitch but the fact that she, like, blamed it on her, it's like, oh my gosh, you were trying to hurt me. And you could tell by Simone's face that, of course, she didn't. And we know Simone. We know she wouldn't hurt people, usually. I mean, it, there might be a time that she might. But she wouldn't try to hurt anyone, especially her teammates, because she's trying to, like, bond with them, I think. Maybe she's not trying to bond with them. I just feel like she probably is, because she's trying to get better and like, improve on her game as well. But then, like, the fact that they... Like, all of them kind of were like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Like, bitch, no. I'm so happy that Simone's going to be in her mean girl era and come for those bitches. I'm so excited for that, genuinely. Because, I mean, I always liked when, like, some of my, like, nice, the nice characters, which Simone can be a mean girl. Like, she can be a bitch, which I love that about her. Like, she can go out 
but I love when mostly nice characters go in like their mean girl era and like a, kill everyone not kill but like not actually but like just like is awful to everyone I always love when that happens and I'm really excited and I hope it stays for a long time because I mean I think people probably have maybe figured this out by now but if you don't I love the mean girls in shows like some of my favorite characters are nice or aren't mean girls and are nice but my top are like can be bitches and they were kind of mean girls at the start and maybe became better so i'm here for this i'm really excited it's because i just love when Smo gets sassy and she like she's just so good i love her and i'm so excited for next episode just just see that because i've seen the trailers and she kind of goes off i'm pretty sure or i've seen clips or I've, maybe i have it maybe i just heard things i don't know I'm really so confused about what people are talking about half the time on Twitter about this show because, of course, I'm very behind. Or, I'm two episodes behind now, but still. But, you know, with Simone, of course, the cart with the tennis, I do want to talk about that because she's not doing as well anymore. I don't, I'm pretty sure she used, she was doing well in season one with the playing. Maybe I'm wrong because I literally don't understand. I know some things. Okay, I understand some things with tennis. It's just, I don't watch a lot, and my brother and my dad, they love, like, sports, but that's one of the sports that they don't talk about like, at all, because I know things about football, baseball, and basketball, and some about other, I think, I know some about wrestling and something. I know some things about that, I think, maybe not, I might be just an idiot, but... I know literally nothing about tennis, or no, not nothing. I know some things, but not a lot. So please let me know if she was good last season, because I, I forgot. But, you know, she is, of course, not doing as well as she was, I think, probably. And so she's trying to, like, step up her game, and she's having trouble. And, of course, all the girls are, like, turning on her. And so it's probably not the best place to be. And I'm worried she's going to, like probably like snap at one point and just go do something stupid I hope she doesn't but then again I mean I get it she's kind of going through a lot there's so much going on and so much like drama and then of course everyone thinks she hurt Thea and of course the Thea drama as well with Simone and you know I want them to be on better terms because I this is so embarrassing, but I ship Simone and Thea, and I know I shouldn't go down that route. I think I might have said that in last episode for Homecoming, but I'm not 100% sure. If I didn't, well, you know now. But I really do ship them, and I still do, and I don't know why I want to go through that again of shipping people that I know won't get together. But So I would like them to fix like their friendship and stuff and fix their issues so they can be friends and I can get their friendship and I can get scenes with them that I can edit but I also kind of am living for the angst of them I don't know why I just I kind of like it it's really interesting especially because I think part of it isn't because Simone didn't kind of hurt the she didn't like it wasn't her fault I don't think I'm pretty sure it wasn't but because Thea kind of blames her for it that's and Thea's having issues with her that's not the reason or that is part of the reason, but I think it's also because Damon, Thea knows Damon liked Simone. They kind of like had a thing and he probably, she probably thinks that he still likes her, maybe. And he probably does. So I think that's also why Thea's pretty pissed at her and doesn't want to give her like a chance or anything because of like all that. And she also hurt her arm even, or she, Simone, playing Simone made her shoulder get even worse so that's probably also it but I really want them to figure this out I think they'll probably make up eventually I hope by the end of the season especially because this might be the last season so I really hope they make up before then so I get some cute friendship moments between them because we never really did we got a few and we got a few with her and other people or Thea with other people but we didn't really get much, so I want Thea to have scenes with more of them besides Damon and have more friends. That's not Tootie, because I don't want more scenes with her and Tootie. We didn't even get a proper one, 
but we got like one for a second of them just talking and I like now knowing who Tootie is and how much I hate her I really hope they don't become like good friends or I will cry because I hate her so much I really hope that's the end of Tootie, but probably it isn't. Like, knowing what happened, and now that she's, like, in the spot, like, for now, that we're probably going to see more of her, and I'm going to die each time. I don't think there has been a character in All-American. Actually, no, there has been. But in Homecoming, there hasn't been a character that I have hated as much as Tootie, I don't think, in Homecoming. There might have been. I mean, I hate Jessie, but I don't know if as much as Tootie. Might be. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, it's fine. But the next thing I want to talk about with this episode is Damon. Because that was a lot to handle. Especially because, of course, he was he transferred, or he was going to. Of course, he didn't in the end. But he was planning on it, and he got all, like, his things. And he was like, okay, I'm going to transfer for sure. And then, like, that whole situation of him having to say goodbye to his team and then Jesse being a bitch about it. But I was happy and I liked that he wanted to play with them for the charity game one last time, especially because it was, like, a special cause. But he wanted to play with them one more time. And then Jesse just became, like, a bitch about everything. And he was like, oh, fuck off. He didn't say that. He wasn't like that. But he was like, oh, no, like, that's, like, stupid. And he was just giving him such a damn hard time because, I mean... A big reason why he wants to leave is because of Jesse and that whole situation. So he probably needs to, like, fix this. Not Damon. Jesse. Jesse needs to fix this situation. Maybe, like, figure out how to bond with him and be on better terms. And maybe it will get better. Of course, they're going to have to learn now that he might be back. I'm not 100% sure from what that ending. But, I don't know. He pissed me off. Especially when... I don't know if it was Jesse's idea. I'm not 100% sure because I watched this last night and I was kind of tired. But he or someone wanted them to change or during the charity game. Damon... Oh my gosh, why am I getting names mixed up? Some guy wanted Damon to play with the other team who was going to be his like new team. And then Lando, I think that's his name, play with Brinkston. And it was for a good cause. I, like, know that, I think. I don't remember what the cause was, but I know it was for a good cause, like, the charity game. And they were kind of being like, oh, you're going to give up that much money or, like, not want to help something, I think. Hopefully. I'm so sorry. I don't remember. But I know, like, they were saying that to him. He's like, you want to, like, not help or give up this much money for, like, charity or whatever. And... I get why he was upset. I think it was 100% Jesse, like, trying to show him something or, like, prove him something. I don't know. But I think it was Jesse's idea because he didn't want him playing with him, with the team. But, I mean, I really wanted him to. But now that he's probably coming back, I'm okay with the fact that he didn't. But I really enjoyed that whole thing, especially because they went from, like, the charity game to the tennis match or their game it was a match but it was not like an official match it was them someone playing against one of her teammates I really did enjoy that because I just like when they go back and forth between the games and stuff I think that's really good I don't not it's not really good it's really interesting to me to see both of them and I just like how they do that and I hope they do like that more I think they usually do do that it like that but I hope they keep doing it just because I do really enjoy it because I like seeing both of them, and I like seeing them together, like, mashed together and not separate, usually. Maybe that's just me. I don't know if I'm making any sense as well. But, you know, I really did want to see him play with the team. But it was interesting, like I said, because I liked seeing Damon go against his team as well and, like, pitching to them and, like, all that. And seeing him play against Lando, I really liked that as well. Because, you know... Lando, I'm gonna get more into him in a bit, but he, that man is so fucking fine, like, I want to die, like, he's so attractive, and so, I'm really excited he's gonna be in this season more, because I did hear some things, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second, about an upcoming episode, which I'm excited for, but I liked seeing him go against them, it was really interesting to me just to see that, and then when JR came up to bat, like, his face, I don't know if he, like, threw 
badly to get him to score or score yeah score I was trying to think if there's a better word for that but I don't think there is because he obviously scored but or hit a home run hit the ball hit a home run I think I don't know if he did it on purpose like 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 I can't talk he threw it badly to or not badly but like not as well as he could have so he could hit it I don't know but I think he might have because of that flashback which made me want to cry of I think it was JR and Damon meeting they might have met before but I'm pretty sure he said I'm JR and he's like I'm Damon and that was so cute because I love their friendship and like how he hasn't Damon hasn't forgiven his parents or like his birth parents yet and like want to talk to them but he and Damon and JR are like brothers already and they already had that brother bond before they kind of find out found found out oh my gosh but I like seeing more of that and they're just so fucking cute their like relationship and everything so that scene was so cute how they used to play together and I think we knew that I think we might have known that I don't know I forgot as usual because I'm an idiot and I don't know why I forget things with shows some things with shows there's some shows that I remember literally every single thing and if you tell me what happens in an episode I will know what that episode is like which episode it is it may be even the title so I'm not sure why I forgot so much of All-American I might I'm so serious during a break coming up I think between like the mid-season finale airs after that and there's a break I might rewatch homecoming season one to make sure i remember everything and make sure i remember more or at least a few episodes that i don't remember as much there are some episodes that i remember very well because shit happened and i was really pissed off about but there are some i don't especially because i don't remember lando at all and i looked it up and he was in some episodes and especially from like how he reacted when Damon came along. I knew they knew each other. You could just tell. And of course, I didn't remember him. And I looked it up on IMDb, and he came up as he was like in some of the episodes of last season. And so I'm gonna need to figure that out because I don't remember that, and I don't know how I don't don't because he, I would remember someone who looked like that. Like that man is so fucking attractive, and. Going into this episode, in this season, I knew he was going to be in it because I saw tweets about it and everyone talking about how fine he was. But still, yeah, I'm probably going to need to go back and make sure, like, I remember key things, especially about JR and Damon, just their relationship. But the fact that they played together when they were younger was so fucking cute in that flashback and, like, him realizing he wants to stay with the team was so cute and I'm so happy JR and Marcus got him or got the other coach to change his mind but then of course he might not come back because Lando got transferred transferred as well to Bringston which I'm really excited about for the drama I've heard some things and I'm gonna say it now I'm not gonna say exactly what happened just in case people have not watched the new episode but I have heard about what happens with him and Simone their scene in episode four it is all over my twitter i cannot escape it and it's really sad because i want i would like to be surprised about things that happen and most of the time with homecoming i am usually because not as many people talk about it as much as they talk about just all american so i think i'm usually fine that's all i've heard about with that i think but i'm really excited for that episode four I'm really excited for just for that scene and I'm just excited to see Lando because I really would like to like him I always even if a person's attractive on the show I don't that doesn't mean I'm gonna like them I don't I like separate looks from character if that makes any sense I don't know if it does but I I want to like the character even if they're hot that doesn't guarantee I'm gonna like the character I hope I'm making sense. And the same thing with act- actor and like actress. I like separate separate them. And if I love the actress or actor, I can't guarantee I'm going to love the character. I hope that made sense. I might have worded that horribly enough. I did. I'm so fucking sorry. But yeah, with that thing, that whole situation, and because, not situation, but because 
I separate like those two things and I make sure like that's not why I like them because of their looks probably means I might not like him you know I've heard some mixed things about him I think a part of me thinks I might like him just because he seems kind of like a bitch sometimes and you know I do love that and not only in a man in a character as well you know I'm so sorry this episode's such a fucking mess and I don't know what's wrong with me I'm so tired and cold but, you know, I'm just excited to see Lando. But, you know, when we figured out he transferred, I was kind of shocked, kind of not. Because I did see a clip from, I think, I don't know if it was in the promo because I haven't seen it yet. But of him in Brixton trying to sit with Simone and, like, Damon and who I, I think maybe JR. I'm not sure who else was with them. But I saw that, so it made me think that he's going to be there. And also, there were the one thing with him and Simone, he was at Brinkston. So I kind of thought maybe he was going to transfer or he just was going to come over all the time. And I didn't understand why. So I'm happy they did that. And I'm happy because it's going to add more drama, which I live for in shows. Not in real life, but in shows, you know, I'm always here for more drama. I always love it. And I'm just really excited to see what Lando brings to um, Brinkston and also just the show in general now that he's going to be here more. I'm, I'm really excited. But I am worried about Damon not being able to transfer back or, like, come back and, like, yeah, transfer back because Lando is here and you know, I'm so scared because Jesse said that it's, it's too late, it's already done because Lando's coming back. So I'm kind of worried. I'm hoping... Marcus, now that he is going to be the assistant coach, he maybe changes his mind or steps up and tries to do something to get Damon back on the team. And I really hope Marcus becomes head coach eventually, just because he's getting better and he's found a therapist. He's talking to someone or he's going to start talking to someone again and he's getting better. So I really hope that they do that. I don't know. I'm so scared. I... I'm so stressed out about this show. I don't know why. I just, I, I always get stressed out over things. Or, like, over shows with, like, especially with All American. Which, how much shit happens in each episode. It stresses me out so, so much. And the last thing I want to talk about with this episode was, where was Nate? I missed her so much. I wanted her to be there. And I kept expecting her to show up because Keisha, especially when Keisha, they all went there to support Keisha. I was expecting her to be there as well because they're best friends. And I really hope they address where she was because I hate when people that are in the show just randomly like dip for a hot minute or like not a hot minute, just for like an episode. And then they don't address where they were because for an example, in season three of Riverdale, Tony was just, was a series regular. She became one. But wasn't in a lot of the episodes, especially at the beginning. She just like dipped and wasn't in like two or three of them, or I think it might have maybe just one. But and they didn't address where she was at all, and it just upset me so much. And I don't get it. It was just one. No, she was out of more, but I'm the one episode I'm thinking of was episode two of season three and she wasn't in it but they didn't address anything in the next episode of where she was and like maybe i get it maybe they just didn't have anything for her to do in that episode but it upsets me when they don't address it just because i would like to know what happened to make them not and what the character was doing for it to be not in for them to be not in the show or the episode i don't know i really hope they address why nathaniel wasn't there I really missed her, though. I, I'm i pretty sure she's in next episode, I think. Because I saw something about next episode. I th- I'm pretty sure it's next episode. Of her kissing someone. And so I really want to see more of that. And see that. Because I do want to see her in a relationship. I think that would be kind of cute. And I'm really excited to see what happens in the next upcoming episodes with her. And just with everyone. I'm really excited. And then with next episode, because I haven't watched the promo, I don't know anything, but I'm just going to put out theories because that's what I do for when I watch All American Live. I always just throw out my theories for next episodes or the next few episodes. And of course, my dumb ass doesn't know anything, so I don't know what's going to happen. I just think Lando is going to get into some shit with everyone, and he's going to probably fight with everyone. And uh, Theo... 
Thea, Thea, what the fuck? Thea, Thea. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like shit today at talking. But Thea, my girl forever. Don't know why I couldn't say her name. Um, I think her, Simone and her are gonna <laughs> just fight more. I don't know. I really want them to work on the, it, it so I can see more of them and have make be able to make my edits that I cannot make. I'm shit at editing, but I would like to. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I think there's just going to be more drama with them, more things with Simone and Tootie, and the team, especially after what happened with Jade. I think they're going to hate her even more. And then, yeah, I think just that. I do think in the future, if Thea and Simone, Simone, not Simone, Thea and Damon don't break up eventually in like the next few episodes, part of me thinks... Damon's gonna hook up with Simone while they're dating. I don't know why. I, part of me doesn't think Damon would do that, and I really hope he doesn't hurt her like that. But part of me thinks that might happen. I do think if this might be their last season, they might just like throw in them hooking up to make like the shippers happy, which I would like. I do, I do ship Simone and Damon quite a bit, but I don't want it to happen unless the uh, and. Damon are broken up because I don't want Thea to be hurt. I really hope they don't do that. I hate when people cheat on, uh, like in shows, people cheat. I fucking hate it. Like, what's the point? I get some people like it because their ships like aren't gonna get together and they kissed, and that might be the reason why they like it. It doesn't matter to me if I like the ship or not. It's like who kissed or whatever. I'm still gonna be pissed because you cheated. So I really hope that doesn't happen. Just don't cheat please that's just a life lesson don't cheat you'll regret it but I don't know what else other than that I do know one thing and I don't want to say it just because somebody who maybe hasn't watched the new episode yet or is on like the same episode as me somehow I don't know I don't want to spoil what's coming up because I the one thing about Simone and Lando I don't want to bring it up but I know the scene that happens with them in episode four so i'm really excited for that but other than like all those theories i really don't know what else is going to happen in the next few episodes just because i'm awful at uh, coming up with theories for most shows especially this one for some reason i just could never get it right but yeah that's the end of this episode uh thank you guys so much for listening i'm so sorry it was chaotic i don't know why i'm such a mess these days i just i just am and i can't explain why but the next episode should be out for sure Tuesday that will 100% be out Tuesday or Wednesday but probably Tuesday for All American season 5 episode 5 so that's for sure going to be out then but I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything in between I might I'll figure that out but if I don't that will be the next episode probably yeah, that should be the next episode if I don't do anything in the next few days. But again, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys have a great day or night, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!